Good day, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. This one we got a new dumper truck. Actually, this uh, chassis and the dumper bucket is an uh, old version, but we this, it is from Lesu. You see a four axle, eight driven with axle differential lock and the middle transfer case differential lock. And also this cabin, it is from uh, uh, Evico, and uh, we customized this one. So now we will test the functions of it and uh, to see all the details, let's first start it. So first the light. Now all off, we will switch on again. So turning signal, turn left, turn right. Let's check the rear light. Let me see the rear light. So turning left, turning right. And backward, go forward, backward, should have brack, let me check again. Ah, that's the brack, when you go forward and uh, pull a little back, this light will go more light, the red light. Okay, then let's turn around and start the sound, that's the horn. We will hear about it later, we will switch it off. Engine sound. Anyway, you can hear me. We will continue like this. And for the damper bucket, lift up. Before which end, slow down and stop. So after open, we will see. Here we will check a little bit details. So here we got the spare, this tire with hub. It is for, this one actually should be for the front hub, front wheel. Okay, so this in the middle, this cylinder, and uh, got this hydraulic pump here, and the motor. So the oil tank is this one, fill up from here. Here is the return line. No, here should be, this is the air vent. With return line is from bottom. And uh, below at the rear side, this one is the servo for the axle differential lock. I will move, you will see. That's axle differential lock. Okay, and uh, this one, come to see here. This one is for the middle transfer case lock. Yeah, that we will see from uh, bottom. Here we can see also this one. We got this mechanical switch for lock the door. Now after open, after lift up, this lock will be open and uh, leave this door open. After seat, this compressing this switch like this will be locked. Lock the door. Okay. And. Uh, here we see from this position we got the transmission gearbox, the output CVD drive shaft. I will open the cabin. This one, the cabin is very strong one, tight and uh, but little space inside, especially under the cabin, small space. So this receiver have to be exactly under here so not get stuck and the battery can put like this small one also someone like this 2s battery and put under here and the wires need to be because under here we cannot put any more battery okay i will put this back and here is the the light and the sound board as you see from here, brushed motor, it is uh, 540 27T. Okay, we will close it. Lock. So I will put down the bucket.
and uh, we will drive a little bit, put it down. Now the door it is locked. Okay, now at low speed, go forward. Turn around. Okay, I will turn back again. Okay, go back, then we will see the speed of full speed. So, low speed, full speed, go ahead. That is low speed position. Now, high speed. That's the high speed. I will change. Now it's the neutral position. I put low speed again. And we will see how is the differential lock and the middle transfer lock working. So now you will see all lock, it is unlocked. So left, I will show you. So the middle transfer case is at this position. So the power transfer to rear to axle and the front to axle. So without the transfer case locked, it can be driven only front to axle or rear to axle. Okay, and see the differential. And now I will lock it. The middle transfer case locked, so we will be turning all together for axle. It's going. So all for axle now turning together, but differential for the axle differential also unlocked. Now we lock the axle differential lock. So it will all eight. All the wheels will be turning together now. Okay, unlock it. Still have differential. Okay. Middle transfer has unlock. Yeah, that's all the lock. So now we will see the details of it. The chassis. Now light, we keep it on. And engine sound off. Let's see it. I can lift up a little so you can see more of it. Okay, so first we will open the cabin. This door can be opened. Yeah, I don't have a fingernail. Keep it open. Also this side. You can see inside the decoration, the seats, wheels, this one is a wiper, we will close it, this mirror, okay, close, and uh, we will turn it from this angle, you will be able to see here the connecting road for the steering, so front to axle are both for steering, now we will turn it around, we will see how is the chassis and how is the lock working. So this one is the servo. From this angle, you will be see clearly this servo for steering. Now turn it. And the metal plate for suspension. This alloy CNC axles. It is all this chassis metal. I forgot to mention this mud guard. It is plastic. Other parts. It is all metal. Only the cabin and all cost cabin. It is plastic. See again. So here's a differential lock for each axle. I will move it. Here you will see this, this one will be turning. Locked, unlocked. That's the, all the lock for axle all have. Let's see the middle transfer case. So I, I, I'm not sure if you can see from this angle. No, I have to turn it around so you can see how it's turning. 
Okay, so middle transfer case lock from this angle. Maybe you can see that's the lock. I will turn it. You see it's turn now locked, unlock. So we will see from the front cabin, the CVD drive shaft, this coming from the transfer case, from the transmission gearbox, this long CVD drive shaft coming directly to this middle transfer case. Uh, this air vent coming oil are leaned too much. It doesn't matter, clean. And we will finish talking very soon. It is from uh, the air vent. I filled up a lot of oil. Leave it, let it drop. Okay, so we will continue. And the CVD drive shaft transfer the power to the middle transfer case and then separate to the front and the rear. So if unlock, if unlock the lock, the two front axle will be driving all the rear two axles will be driving. So only one power output will be enough. If locked, all the axles, four axles will have to turn together. Okay, let's see. So here we got the decoration metal box. Here is the return line. Now the oil is dropping from the air vent. Okay, let's see front axle. This one, we got turning a little bit. And now we can see front one, the axle, the differential lock. This one, this one, that's the differential lock. Yeah, this one doesn't matter, this from air vent. Okay, because I leaned. Here is the air vent hose under there. Okay, so here we got another box, decoration one. And from this angle, you will be able to see the suspension. I will, like this, you will see it. Okay, it is all connected to the main girder by this plate, metal plate. Okay, that's all for these chassis. So at the rear side, you see got this, this bumper. And the front side, I will lift, lift up. Front side, no more. So this bumper for protection, it is from the cabin, it is also plastic. Okay, that's all the details of the chassis. And uh, yeah, we not seen the transmission gearbox, how it's moving. From this angle, you will see from here, this connecting bar to the servo. It is inside there, the black one, we will move it. Now it is low speed, neutral position, high speed. Low speed, neutral position, high speed. Okay, that's the transmission gearbox for changing. So actually every time when you setting your models with the steering, with the transmission gearbox, you have to care about the radio settings for the endpoints. So like uh, uh, from a lower part, 30%, 40% to increase little by little, and you check on your servo when you set in, so the servo not reach the dead points and get stuck and burn. Okay, thank you very much. This is the hydraulic control dumper truck for chassis from Lesu and uh, Kevin Evico. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.